What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add and equip a weapon into the new motion matching sample. It's going to be a very easy build to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the very first thing that we need is of course our equipped animation. I got this from ALSB4 in the Unreal Marketplace so you can do exactly the same thing. On top of that, I also got the torch from the ALS but you can use any weapon that you want of course. Alright, so with that said, let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is open up the animation blueprint of this animation sample. So what we can do is go into the blueprints folder and there we go, we have the ABB sandbox scatter. Let's double click to open this up. Alright, so let's make sure to go to the main and in graph. You can just go over here and double click and we are in the main state machine of this animation blueprint. So we're going to go right after the default slot and it's where we play the montages and so on because on here all the animations would have been already calculated. And right before the offset root bone, we are going to use select all of this and move it slightly around this distance. And now what we want to do is split the body in two. So we will separate the arm from the rest of the body. So for this, let's get the default slot, drag and do a layered blend per bone. And this node will allow us to split the body in two. In this case, let's separate the bone of the arm from the main body. So the base pose will of course be the locomotion itself with motion matching. And now if I were to compile, nothing would really change. But, you know, because we need to specify where we want to split this up. So if I now go to the layered blend per bone node and expand the layer setup, I can expand the index and add here a new index, which is gonna be the bone name that I want to split. So if we go up here into this icon, we can open up the skeleton and we can find what bone we want to split it on. In this case, I want to do the left arm. As you can see, this animation is holding it with the left arm. So I'm gonna go into the first bone of the left arm, which is the clavicle owl, and then let's just copy this, go and paste it. And it has to be exactly the same name. With that said, I can compile, and as you can see now, this bone is no longer animated. That's because, of course, we don't have any animation for this. But if I was to press play, you can see that the whole body is animating except that arm which is really cool now the only thing left to do is to go and get the equipped animation and just go to the animation blueprint and drag it in now very important with the equipped animation selected let's make sure that loop animation is enabled and with that said let's drag it in compile and there we go we now have the holding animation in place and the whole other body is being animated which is really cool and this will work with all of the also parkour elements as you can see it's so so cool now let's go ahead and also add the weapon itself so for this we're gonna go into the skeleton and add a socket a socket will allow us to put a specific bone transform and then we can add that weapon into that position so if we go to the hand left let's just go ahead and preview an animation and let's get the equipped one so that way we can just go ahead and see how this will look so let me pause this go to the hand l right click and add a socket now let me just rename this to something as weapon and now let's right click and add a preview asset which is going to be my torch so I can put this precisely and the first thing that I noticed that I need to rotate this so let's go ahead and just rotate this around here and let's put this more in place so something like this will work <laughs> there we go so I'm happy with that I can just save close now you would notice that when we press play the torch is not still there if it loads there we go and that's because we only added that bone position but not the asset itself so now what we need to do is go to the blueprints folder open up the sandbox scatter blueprint itself go to the viewport go to the mesh and just add a static mesh and this will be the weapon which in my case will of course be the torch and now with that said I'm gonna go to the pen socket and just attach it to my weapon socket that I just created as you can see. Now very important, there has to be a child of the mesh. And now I'm gonna make sure that all the collisions are disabled. I can just compile, save, press play and there we go. As you can see right now I have an item holding in my hand and everything is animating perfectly which is really cool and all of the animations will still work just fine. It's, just, <laughs> it's looking so so cool. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and throw, so check them out. 
Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now just plus it. Bye bye.